What's up, it's your boy Flex, and today I'll be doing a comparison video between the soundbar 5.1.4 setup called the K950, which comes with a soundbar, a wireless sub, and two wireless surround speakers with an Atmos speaker built into the top. And they provide their own power as long as you have an outlet to plug into right there. So it's a neat and clean setup. Provides about 500 total watts. So it's pretty powerful. Um, not as good as a real receiver, but it is comparable. And you can get the sound that you desire if Atmos is what you're looking for and be completely happy. The only drawback from these side surround speakers is there's a white noise that um, is kind of bothersome. And when you stream content, it's louder. When you play the physical disc, it's a little bit easier to deal with. And that's what would stop me from rating the system a 5 out of 5 and probably could cause you to return the sound bar depending how, on how high your tolerance is. So let's take a look at a scene from the Man of Steel and you can hear the Atmos. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I got the sound volume on 42. I'm sitting right in the middle. The ceiling is about eight feet from the floor. Smaller room, maybe I think it's like an 11 by 12. And this type of sound system is perfect for a room like this. The Atmos that these surround speakers provide are amazing. I can't tell you enough how great the sound stage is. Um, you get bang for your buck with this system, but the white noise is what, it could kill it for you, I'm gonna be honest. Bring the Phantom Drive online. We are not slave to the world engine. Initiate. Good Atmos right here. Great Atmos over here. What if they hit us with? Looks like something with their ship. Somehow they're increasing the Earth's mass in the atmosphere with particulates. Oh my god. The terraforming. What's that? So the sound was great and for the price you can find these on Amazon for about six to eight hundred used. So if you can deal with the white noise that comes from the surround speakers and then let that not pull you out of the movie, which for certain people, some people, it's harder to do. And based on what I'm hearing online, a lot of people are experiencing the white noise from the surround speakers. And the problem has not been corrected and people have been complaining about this problem for the last two years. So it's safe to assume that this problem will probably not be fixed. So... Out of five stars, if you can tolerate this system, it could, if you can tolerate the white noise, it could be a five out of five. If you can't tolerate that, it'll make you return the system. All right, so when you buy this, you got to buy it as is. You got to realize that there's going to be some flaws, that it does not um, pass through Adobe Vision. But if you're buying this strictly for movies and if you're buying this for that Atmos, I'm telling you, the Dolby Atmos up-firing sound reflective speakers on this are great. They're great on the sound bar up there. They're also great coming from these side surrounds. The only problem is the white noise. So let's go downstairs and try the end wall and ceiling setup. So downstairs is my end wall and ceiling setup. I'm using Clips Reference Premiere speakers 
all around. These front lefts, front rights have eight, eight, eight inch woofers, one inch tweeters, and also my four ceiling speakers, height speakers as you would call them, eight inch woofers and one inch tweeters. And I'm using 550 Arkham as my receiver. So I'm gonna play the Man of Steel scene and we'll be able to compare it. The sound volume will be about 65. So let's see the difference. I'm gonna sit in the middle, same spot. Hopefully this will be a good sample for you. This room is about, I would say this room's about a 16 by 17. So I'm dealing with a much bigger space. So I think that these speakers that I have are very appropriate for my setup. I went too far ahead. Let me go back a little bit. Here we go. This is what you guys want to hear right here. Amazing. Looks like some kind of gravity weapon. It's working in tandem with their ship. Somehow they're increasing the Earth's mass, clouding the atmosphere with particulates. Oh my god. They're terraforming. What's that? Planetary engineering modifying the Earth's atmosphere and topography. Turning Earth into Krypton. But what happens to us? Based on these readings. There won't be in us. General Swanwick, sir. I'm on the control tower. Colonel Hart is on his way in. He's got to... All right, so hopefully that was a good enough sample. Um, overall, if we're going overall sound, of course, the Arkham destroys that Samsung sound bar. I mean, let's get real. But if we're talking about specifically high channels, atmosphere effects... It's pretty comparable, and I'm not lying to you. No one's, I'm not being paid. I've had this end wall and ceiling set up for about two years now. Before I had the um, speakers with the ceiling reflectors, I've had the um, Pioneer Elites. I've also had the Clips Reference Premieres, those big giant ones with the um, up firing speakers built in. And I've also bought, um, I also used to have Ankyo ones when they first came out. So I was an early adapter. So I've had multiple systems, sound systems that had um, Atmos. And I can tell you that these sound reflecting speakers are very comparable to in wall, in ceiling. Well, I should say just in ceiling speakers. They're very comparable. Now, as far as detail on this 5.1 side, crispness, detail, separation from speakers. Definitely, it goes to the Arkham and the in-wall, in-ceiling speakers. The separation, the crispness, the detail is definitely better than the Samsung soundbar. But this setup is about plus $10,000. That Samsung is only going to cost you, like I said, you can go online, you can go to the internet and find it for six to $800. And these systems 
are comparable. Now, the Samsung is not beating this system, but it's comparable, and you can be very extremely happy with the Samsung 950 if you can get one without the white noise or if the white noise does not bother you. Now, if you're willing to wait for the N950s that are coming out, and if they fix that white noise problem, you're talking about a 5 out of 5 system. But this bad, bad boy is in a whole other league as far as just surround, period. But you're not going to be missing out on Atmos. I should say that. The Atmos will pretty much be the same. Now, like I said, 8-inch woofers with 1-inch tweeters and my in-ceiling speakers. And... It is better than the Samsung surround speaker with the Atmos built in, but not that much better. It's, I would say the Samsung's Atmos speakers gets about an 8 where these get a 10. And sometimes they sound the exact same with certain content. So if you don't have the room, if you don't own a house and or a condo and you can't just put speakers in your wall, in your ceiling or your wife won't allow you to, you can definitely use sound reflecting speakers and get pretty much the same effect. They're not that much different. Don't let anybody tell you. I've, I've had both for a long time, almost since they've been out. And I can tell you that they are very, very comparable. So that that is it from my comparison between the Samsung HW K950 sound reflecting Atmos speakers when a 5.1.4 setup and a sound bar versus an Arkham with in wall in ceiling 5.1.4 SVS sub Atmos setup that I have. And so they're comparable, but the Arkham definitely wins. The Arkham is a step ahead, definitely. But the soundbar system is not being blown away. It is, it, they are comparable, but like I said, for the price, bang for the buck, you're, you're, in, you're pretty much there. So that'll be it until next time. Thank you to whoever watched and needed a little bit of additional info to help make better decision on what they want to get and, you know, what their living situation will allow them to get. So um, you're going to be happy either or. If you have the money and you have the space, you want to go end wall and ceiling, I can definitely recommend that. But if you don't have the, have the money or if you don't have the space or the living situation that allows it, don't, be, don't feel slighted and don't feel like you're missing out because you can get it done with the sound bar. So, Flex signing off. Have a great day.